and welcome to the godisageek.com podcast episode 508. Is that correct? I'm going to just ask Chris Hyde, but my name is Adam Cook. Hello, Chris. Is that the correct number or have I forgotten to add one? It, it, I, I think it's the right number, but it's also never the right number, as we always say. Cause it's not the 508th. Okay. Can't talk. But no, no. it probably is right. I think the last one was 507. Yeah, but now, now you see I'm wondering if that was wrong as well. It doesn't matter. This is not the right way to start a podcast. Um, are you all right, Chris? Yes. Good. Oh, this is awkward. Wait, hang oh, on. Oh, hang on. You've spoiled it. Chris oh, White's here. Oh. Chris White, looking really, really good in that hat and jumper combo, mate. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I love it. That's all right. I didn't say I loved you. I just what said we're you saying good. is, oh, I, well, look I like don't love shite. you. I take it back. Okay. And hello, Lyle. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I love all of you. That's love very, for everyone. It's, it's very kind of you, but I've got to be honest, mate. Normally, you're the sort of sartorial elegance when it comes to this podcast, but I think Mr. White is. I don't know. I think he's challenged. It's a Christ. challenge. I don't know. I think he's challenging. You fancy me? Yeah, I was going to well, say. Well, in that hat, mate, it'd be hard not to. Well, thank you. You know? I like I'll the colour. I just think it's just your, mate, it's your colour. It's your colour is all I'm I saying. Th- I think I look good. I think Chris looks good. I think Lyle looks good. Let's do a podcast. Let's do okay. a podcast. <laughs> on that note, on that definitely not pre-scripted joke. Um, I wish it was. I wish it was. Um, Lyle, talk to us about video games because at the moment, there's stuff happening that we can't talk there's quite a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes we can't talk about but fortunately for us because we do this live if you are joining us for the first time and then we sort of it goes what it goes away until the official broadcast date on monday when everyone else gets it but you can get it if you're a patreon patreon.com slash geek but the one game that has well by the time you hear this be out is a jrpg which is a shock to me you know who'd have thought Who'd have thought? And who'd have thought it'd be me who'd be talking about yeah. that? Well, to be fair, all four of us are kind of into our RPGs, but um, when it comes to anime-based JRPGs like One Piece Odyssey... Like One Piece Odyssey, yeah, that's that's usually where I come in. And yeah, I've played One Piece Odyssey. I've played so much One Piece Odyssey, and I've reviewed One Piece Odyssey. And uh, it's like, all right, is that helpful? <laughs> Nice. Do, do you know what? Like, the, the, the thing is, when when you... <laughs> that, should, that should have been your review. I have played so much One Piece Odyssey. It's all right. Dot dot dot. Do, do you know what? And it's all right. You joke about that, but it's something I've always wanted to do. Like this, this big game, like this, everyone's looking forward to, and that is just kind of like you know, it's a sort of five, six, or seven, and then someone clicks into it, and it's just a big picture, like the featured image, all the details, and just it's all right, five out of ten, and then that's it. And just just to see. Yeah. But like the thing is, when when this when you previewed this, I can't remember. I think it, a, a before and after Christmas. Yeah, I can't remember. It, it was some it was time before, around Christmas. I think, yeah. Okay. I, the thing that I took away from it, having not played it, is one I was quite in, looking forward to the fact it wasn't a JRPG. Um, it wasn't a Musu yeah. because it, a lot of the One Piece games have been Musus. Loads of them. And that's it. Yeah, that's right. And two, I thought it looked really good. Like the the, the visuals, it looked really nice looking. Um, yeah. And, and it still is really nice looking. That part, I can't take away from it. Yeah. Uh, the main issue is just, like, it's the pacing over everything else. Like, the combat, which I did talk about quite a lot in the preview, because I got to play a decent chunk of that in that opening mm. few hours I got to jump into. Like, it is really good what they do with that. Like, the whole... It's a turn-based system, but uh, your characters are sort of in different areas and to move to another area you have to not have any enemies in your area and it's a little bit complex to understand and the game doesn't do a very good job of that either um, but when you get into it it's it, it really does work well it's like it's you sort of have to make a decision of like okay I've got this character who can do like long ranged attacks so maybe I'll try and use them to free up this other character and it, there's this like strategic element of trying to sort all that out but in between the combat, there's just a lot of oh, walk over to there was there's a guy who's fallen down in the street really early on who needs some medicine. So you talk to him, and then you walk to the other side of town to talk to the doctor who doesn't have the medicine. So you walk to the other side of town and slightly out of town to talk to someone who might have the medicine who doesn't have it. So then you go back to the doctor to see if I'm like it's just this back and forth slow paced like busy work of like i just sort of want to play the game guys like you don't need to be padding this out it's so long it's it like i i think it's like eight chapters long or something like that and i was like way past the 10 hour mark and i looked what chapter i was in and i was like 
a bit i was about halfway through chapter two at the time and it just and this was like it was this big desert area and <laughs> i'd been through like four different sort of like really big open areas that were just sand and i could not if you paid me tell me what the difference between each of them were they all had scorpions in that were the only encounters you really ever had and i just sort of was like why like i'm playing this like after i've played recently things like persona 5 and chained echoes in very recent memory mm. and i was just sort of thinking the way this game this game's pacing is going like i'm just like i want to carry on i want to feel like i'm doing something a little bit different and it never really felt like that and then alongside that as well your characters have these sort of like different abilities you can use for exploration so there's one character who if you switch to him you'll see cooking ingredients that other people don't see. So you can pick up those ingredients. And then if you switch to someone else, they see money because they're obsessed with money. And then you switch to someone else and they'll see, but they'll be able to get bird's nests, which you can get ingredients for crafting these trick balls you can use in it, battles. It, it all sounds quite basic. Like, because there was one thing I wanted to ask you about in the review, actually. Um, You mentioned... Like you have to go back to the quest giver to hand the quest in and stuff. I'm sure that it might have been in the preview actually. But either way, I'm sure it's something you mentioned. That surprised me a little bit because that's something a lot of JRPGs are now kind of dispensing with, unless they really breaks the kind of narrative. Do you know what I mean? If it's really odd yeah. to just be able to, because like, even something like Xenoblade Chronicles, that like, you can just you do it, it's done. You yeah, know what I, mean? totally. and I think Tales it, of Arise. I, I want to say that. No, no, you did have to go back with Tales of Arise, but you could preemptively do it. Like, if you had, say, three jars of milk and they wanted three least jars fast of milk. Travel? <laughs> There's fast travel that unlocks about 15 hours into the game. Oh, Christ. <laughs> like because that's the thing that makes it less laborious if you have got to go back yeah. at least if there's a lot of fast travel points then it's not yeah. really an extra step and there is there is a lot of fast travel points and when you do get to that point it's helpful but and like you haven't needed to do a huge amount of like traits in miles back for side quests at that point because it's still fairly like, early on in the grand scheme of things like big then or like, like do you know what i mean like they big enough yeah, by the sounds of it that it bothers big you enough yeah. yeah they're definitely big enough and like it's just stuff like like when I was saying about the different characters that you switch to for all these different reasons, like to do that, you have to press a button to open a menu to select one of them to then mm. jump back I, I, into them. I was going to ask, just like when you were talking about that, yeah, because that sounds very much like if I was playing it, I'd go into every area, want to switch between every character to check I didn't and, miss getting anything, which just and that means sounds that like an absolute faff. Yeah, it's, basically that means that in every area you are basically playing it through as four characters because you yeah. want to make sure you see all these little things. And eventually I gave up and just was like, would I'm not a... going to pick up the extra money. Like, I don't Would there need be a it, point to... That's, oh, I think you're... To be honest, I think you're about to answer. But say, well, well, like, Chris is where playing. Would there be a point to, to doing it that um, way? I mean... I definitely could have used some after extra like crafting stuff, especially in the later game. Uh, there were items that I couldn't afford for a long time that I think that if I'd maybe switched to the person who found more money more often, I might have been able to afford. It was never yeah, like, if, like if, I didn't get stuck. I, like I wasn't like I can't. No, it just could have been now, easier. It definitely could have been yeah. easier for sure. Yeah, and it's just a shame. Um, I mean, I there's a lot of the way they do the stories clever in that they like mm. tell One Piece stories that are like from the anime, like but there is they're told as memories, so you're kind of like seeing them with like a fresh coat of paint. But if you don't know One Piece, you also get to see like get the gist of the story regardless. So it kind of offers something for new for like new One Piece like introdu being introduced to one piece for like the first time and you know all the fans who like be like oh this isn't how it happened in the anime so you know it's a little bit interesting in that sort of way like i think that sounds that like well, it would annoy but... them though as well that could that could potentially be it... like this isn't how it happened yeah yeah. They, they, yeah, I mean, they, they make a big deal about it, like, it's not supposed to be canon. It's like, there's a character who legitimately says, like, your memories might not remember this the way you, like, it actually happened, so you'll sort it's, of it's, get it's to It's certainly see it. a clever way of doing You You wonder if, like, it's a bit like the Disney thing of, like, where they own all these properties and, and you know, you might be allowed... To, do you know what I mean? Like, with, with Marvel and stuff, like, the way they, they, they make a game that's, like, not canon because it's it's alternative thing. I mean, it's a clever way of getting around not moving on a very storied beloved franchise 
while also making something quite interesting. The, the thing I'm getting from it is that you, it sounds like it suffers from that problem of, you know, when, when developers used to come out and go, this game is this big and you can go all the way over there and see it. And the issue is never really about how big the world it is. It's about filling it with interesting things to do from that point A to B. And it sounds a bit like this game looks good, probably sounds good, the combat's good, but then when it comes to the actual world part, like, it, it you know, it might look good, but it's kind of... Like, I was looking at the footage of, um, I don't know the characters, but the guy with the long nose who fires a bow and arrow. Um, yeah. He's the one who gets Usopp. the bird's nest. Usopp, okay. He's the one who gets yeah. the bird's nest, isn't he? I think. Yeah. And it looks like you just run around, see a bird's nest, press a button, and then it's now collectible on the floor in front of you. And it doesn't look to me like that is something that needed a almost Metroidvania style. Oh, now you've got this character and he can get those things. And it just sounds like it's elongating something that maybe didn't yeah, need it definitely like it in this game there is a good like jrpg hiding mm. under a few layers of issues is it and... feature creep then is it is it is it I, I mean i don't really know it never felt like there was too much going on either like it was okay. just it was more just like if you want to see everything you're really gonna have to put your time in you there's gonna be a lot and there's just a bit too much sort of back and forth there's like like the action gets broken up by you know conversations and i know this is a jrpg but you will have like five or ten minutes where you're just like i'm just trying to get out of the town gate and go and fight something like can i can i please and then it's like oh no now this character wants to talk about this thing and it just kind of like it just it it, it gets you down and eventually it just grinds on you a little <laughs> bit really and i mean i, mean, I assume yeah. that the, you know it would have been a six but the half point was because it's got a character called chopper in it i was assuming yeah, that's that's, it. i mean i'd give just... any game up a half a point just for having it's a, it's not a name you hear enough like it's kind of like bash street kids and the beano days like you know chopper i mean i suppose there's also chopper harris but um it's, it's his full name is tony tony chopper if that helps so sorry it's you, it's tony tony Cho not tony chopper what? No, Tony Tony Chopper, and he's a reindeer, but a very small, cute reindeer, but who can sort of turn into a bigger <laughs> reindeer and punch things. It, I mean, I'm not going to lie. he's not human. No, he's not human. And I'm also, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Everything about One Piece in terms of, like, its actual story, like, it is a bit much in it. And I'm saying that, and I'm just out here in this shirt, and I'm like, oh, gosh, <laughs> give it a rest, yeah, do you will you? Do you know what? That's kind of like... It's almost a badge of honour that they should have a picture. That, you know that picture of you doing that. They should have that yeah. picture of you with "It's a bit much" on it, and that's just like on the box. Not you know, like you get a box quote, just that. But it's a bit much, and like that's and that would make fans go, "Oh my god, it must be amazing!" Because look yes. at him. It's, like, it's a bit Finally. much for him. Uh, it's yeah. just, it's a shame. It's a shame because I know shame. you had hopes for it when you sort of you, you know you previewed it, and I must admit I was the same. I was like, I actually think this could be one, you know. But reading your review. I mean, there is a demo. We should say there's a demo so people can go there's and have a, a have a go. I think on I think on Xbox and PC, uh, PlayStation. I don't know about <clears> don't waste your time. <laughs> Bloody hell! 2023 has changed you, Chris. Yeah, Mr. Um, Mr. Kind is like don't waste your fucking time. Um, <laughs> but like, I there's, there's an element I still kind of just I I've got enough JRPGs to be playing with turn based combat that we're not starved anymore, are we? Really, we're really not starved. No, <clears throat> it's sort of like this is like the era of like I remember on the PS3, I'd have I'd be get this growing pile of JRPGs, and like there'd just be somewhere no one had ever really like talked about them. They weren't really mentioned that much, and eventually you were like, maybe I'll play this, and then you know, or I could just play you know one of the really really good ones. This they're so long, you don't need that many of them anyway. Yeah. So it's hard to recommend. Yeah, oh, one that well. I would say is an average I've got, one. I've got a question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is that Christmas tree got eyes and lips on it? <laughs> yeah, it does. And, um, yeah. It's got does arms. Does it well, sing? I think. It, I think so. Oh I, my! I don't. I don't think it might not have batteries now. No, oh, it's, it's that's, not. That's really cool. Yeah, but it normally sort of like wobbles and dances a bit. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, I sorry, meant... I've just I've been looking I, at it I all mean, this time. I mean, that's just... a that's a further indictment of the, of the game. <laughs> I feel that like <laughs> yeah, I've like, got a question. I actually have no. <laughs> No <laughs> questions about no, I, was, the game. I was thinking, is he going to go for the humor here and ask about the sort of anime ladies in it? Because they're, if you've been watching the video version of it, there will have been clips and you will have been like, what is going on? Uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, was, was, he was he going have. with it? And he didn't even want to know about the game. Didn't at give all. a shit. <laughs> Just like, that. Even... The Christmas tree I forgot to bother taking down before <laughs> no, this started. Like 
the truth well, is though, I, like I won't be playing it though because I don't really. I'm not into. I, I'm st- I've still no. got my question about Chopper that I've been sitting on for about five minutes. It'll come You've to you. Sitting on. on a sitting on a Chopper. He's been sitting on a Chopper for about five minutes. <laughs> That's that smile. Hot shots part duh, right? What? Adam, you'll know what I'm yes, talking about. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. it what's is it Chopper Harley? Chop, top, topper Harley. Topper. Okay, that's right. Yeah, it's confused. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> even so that I wasn't about right. One Piece. Do I say Still I'm not about One Piece. Going, I've got a Chopper reference here, and it's not even fucking Chopper. What What no. I would say before we move on is if you've seen One Piece in the title of this, whether it's the audio version, the video version, whatever. <laughs> no, let's not right. no, 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 some more. No, not not so. Not, not sorry, um, but like we're probably not the target audience. It, it, you know, we we are JRPG fans, all of us. Um, I've never seen. I mean, One Piece feels like it's been going for. I, I wouldn't like to guess, actually, but I don't it must think be it a has decade. A thousand episodes. Yeah, well, I think it's close to a thousand close to a thousand episodes, episodes <laughs> close to a thousand musus based on it. Um, <laughs> and I, I would. It's a bit like it makes me think of WWE a bit. Like where for a long, I know where things are changing, but for you, like Chris White is a <clears> WWE <throat> fan. Like you kind of got two Ks WWE, or that's it. And that's changing, but it's kind of the same thing with with One Piece. You either you you, you know you watch the anime and then you play the game that Bandai Namco do, or you don't play a One Piece game. Second second game I reviewed was uh, a One Piece game. It yep, part of I, I believe it. Three. <sighs> and it was a Musou. Yeah. <laughs> they they all. I they, reviewed that's four. why. I was, yeah. That's, that's why I was so interested to see what 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 this would be because it's not a Musou and it's like. You know, yeah. before we move it's... on, I should shout out Mikhail in the chat with his uh, one seven nine. Indian rupees uh, super chat thingy where he says I like the big plot in the game have a good pod I think we know what he means if you've been watching the video version you'll know what he means by the big plot um, let's move on let's move on to a game I know we've all played um, but Chris Hyde you yeah. you're part of that you're part of this when I say all you're you one, of one of those people us. one of us you have played Finally, no. Sorry, I'm going to build this up a bit more. Go on then, please, because I can't I... fucking wait. Well, when when did I first ask you to play it? Do you think roughly? Oh, I don't know. About 1997. Yeah, yeah. It was about then before it came out, I think, and before the console it was on existed. Um, it was a while ago. Yeah. But to be Definitely fair, be, I'm going to defend you, and I know that yeah. what you you're going to say because we've played together, and I'm really building this up. What game this is going to be? Um, Mass in Effect. In your defense, yeah, Mass Effect. In your <laughs> fucking that is. That's he's, oh my like, God. he's you stabbing go, people. Fuck. He's literally <laughs> he's literally stabbing people. But I know he doesn't give a shit anymore, does really he? Like twenty twenty three. I mean yeah. that that hat he needs to take it off. I think it's like it's I don't know what's and going on. Evil it's changed hat. Him. Believe me, you don't evil be me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game is something I was nag I nagged you to play, but you had other things and other priorities to play. And I think I don't even remember if Lyle played it before Game of the Year, but. I'm going to ask you a question about Game of the Year, but first of all, Chris, tell us, as your first ever player of it, how do you feel about, and I've built it up more than enough now, Overwatch 2? Yeah, so I put a lot of hours into Overwatch 2. It's all right. <laughs> oh, thank God, Lyle laughed, because Christ, I, I thought I was being really clever. <laughs> you were, I was also a bit sad, so I oh, don't know sad. if it was that you think it's all right. He doesn't. Do you not think it's all right? Well, I thought it was a joke, but now I'm worried that you actually do think it's like average. Well, it depends on your perspective of all right. Okay, C- carry on. <laughs> no, okay, all right. So, I mean, thank God this is audio based. Otherwise, really, no one will know what's going on, will they? <sighs> no. So, uh, le- okay. I Overwatch really like two. Overwatch Two. You do, okay. and I know. I know Adam's going to ask me some questions, which will probably express truly how much I like Overwatch Two. But I. <sighs> This is this is another moment where Adam says, "I told you so." Because I've was... never said that to you. No, he thinks yeah, it, but you this is the thing. Oh, yeah, right? God, you say, I, think I never say time. I told you so. But every message is like that in a different way to me. It's just like, <laughs> so you like Overwatch two now, do you? That's funny. Like, oh, you know, but playing it without me now. Are you? It when I told you yeah, about playing it, playing it without me now. Before. Playing it with, the, playing it with your, your friends words. without me now. Are you playing it? With, I'm, playing it without me. You know, you and your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want me before you. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, that's, anyway, that's true. so I like so I've watched two. So um, yes, God, it feels like months ago when we played it. When did we actually start playing? It was like a couple of weeks. It was a couple of weeks. 
I, was no. it, even, it might not even be a week. It doesn't feel I like it's it, that long. I feel like we would have talked about it last week. If you, no, you played, you you played, played on it. Saturday. You played on Saturday because you asked me if I was could and I was at work and I was I, miserable. I feel I feel like if you'd played it, it before last week? week's podcast, <laughs> I you would have it mentioned was. it, wouldn't you? I think it was Saturday. It was a busy yeah, podcast think... last week, to be fair. So it is possible. It was like, well, you played it once. Because I want to yeah, say, maybe. I want to say, you may have played it once before last week's episode. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> played it a lot since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have. Yeah, I, I, I really like Overwatch. I mean, look, I, for those that have like watched the like obviously Game of the Year pods and any other time when I talk, I like a multiplayer, I like a co-op multiplayer. You know, I like playing with people, and I get a lot of pleasure out of playing multiplayer. Chris, could um, you do me a small favour just for the people who do watch this on video? Could you say that word again while I put you full screen? Pleasure. <laughs> Thank oh, you I should have meant that and not multiplayer. No, no. <laughs> I think it was multiplayer. No, no it was pleasure. I think it was pleasure. Um, yeah, so so um, obviously, and I'm not going to say what fucking Overwatch 2 is. Christ. Um, well, Chris, people like, have seen the video of it like while you're talking. If they can't yeah, work out so, it's an FPS. I mean, l- l- listen, again, if, you, if you've... Paid any attention? I'm I'm always the healer. I'm always the support. I'm always that type of player. So the support class in Overwatch is where I kind of gravitated to. Um, played my first night with Adam, and I was like, "All right, you need to show me the ropes. You know, let me, you know, he- help me out because I've no idea what I'm doing." So I was like, "Oh, this angel character looks all right. I'll try and be her. Don't be her. She's mine. You can't be her. If you're her, you'll ruin my life." I was like, "Okay, well, I can't play this. I want to. Then okay, I can't be Mercy. That's fine." So uh, we can't ever be mercy if, if Adam's playing. So I had to pick someone else. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm, having, I'm having a really good time of it. It's one of those things. It's an it's annoying how much I like it because it means Adam's right. <laughs> and is that bad? Is it bad that I'm right once? No. Stop, a stop <laughs> clock's no. right twice a day. If you uh, yeah okay, but like. Like, don't get me wrong. I didn't want to hate it. Like, let's be really clear. Like, I didn't want to go. Well, told you I'd fucking hate it. Um, that would be spiteful. It. Do you know what? Do you know what I actually? What worries me the most about it is it means I'm going to get nothing else done this year. Yeah. That's what I worry about the most because you know, I. We've got a little uh, in our Discord, which you know if. For just one dollar a month, you can you can be a member of and you know get involved. Um, we have an Overwatch Two chat, which I never paid any attention to at all. Cause didn't need to before, like the pissing Steam Deck chat. I stay well clear of that because it's nothing to do with me. And now I, I check it every morning just to see <laughs> see what's going on. And then most evenings I'm like, if I said eight o'clock to people, what would they say? And then people start going, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Well, and it's like, well, the thing that. When I realised I'd created a monster, yeah. it was when you chose to play Overwatch 2 instead of watching Manchester United on telly. So, hang on. Right, so, first off, it was a cup game, right? Right? I, Let's I, be listen, really... You can caveat and make as many as excuses as you want. I'm not judging you. La- out, out and, we, and we won, and it's fine. But, yeah, I'll say it now. I, also, and let's be really clear, I wasn't going to get to watch it on TV, Right, so that's the that's the other thing. Like, it's not like I sat there in front of the, the TV and went, "Nope, this isn't for me." I'm going to go and play Overwatch. I weren't going to get to watch it anyway, so all I was going to get is notifications on my phone. So I thought, well, I might as well have notifications on my phone whilst wrecking up the shit with mates, and that's what happened. So yeah, but no, you are right. It, it, I, I I I liked it, and I I still like it. Um, it's very addictive, and it's very strange because you are. It's it's. When you really think about it, it's a very repetitive game. Well, it is and it isn't because all the different heroes means it can be not repetitive at all. The thing is, though, I I like Call of Duty. I like yeah, pro clubs fair on point. FIFA. Fair point. They're incredibly repetitive, yeah, no, but every true. match is different. Yes, and it's all to, for me. It's it's all to do with the the the. The co-op and uh, it's the and, composition. And the element, it's it's, which, the, it's which... the hero and team composition that make yeah. that game sing. And I'm not even. I haven't even got under the like no. the the hood, as the kids say, of like all the shit that you anymore. can really get into. People start talking about. I oh, want well, the best player to be to counter that person. I'm like, I I don't like. <laughs> well, I know what you mean because I'm not stupid, but. <laughs> I'm just going to pick the same person every time and, and do but my that, best. But you do do that because when we played Deep Rock, you were similar. That you had you picked the one and that was your one. 
yeah, I will be I genuinely don't... interested to see they, if they, this they, sticks they... with you. If you're like, I am Moira. There's questions oh, coming later, thanks, so I don't. Adam. Oh, is What's he? That? What? What have I done? Moira. Yeah. What? You know, I've told you countless times Moira's mine. I didn't tell him to pick Moira. You yeah, didn't tell him not to, though, you, did you? You can't be mercy, and, and there's I only three to could... pick from, and that one's too hard to do when you're a new person, I so you very, pick Moira. very That's specifically said, said you could be mercy, and well, I would do something Moira. else. And then, let's be honest, I was fucking brilliant with Moira, so I stuck with her. Isn't that true, Lyle? It is true. I've heard he, I've heard tales of a twenty-two kill streak as a let's, whoa, whoa, let's not exaggerate. It was only twenty-one. Yeah, that's oh, when sorry. he was playing without. It could us. have been twenty-two. It could have Easy. been, but I died. But um, I, I, look, I, I this this game is great. Our community that we play it with is really good, which means I don't have to deal with the toxic random chat. I can just get to. in a group with mates. We'll occasionally work together. More often than not, Kieran or La will just fuck off the other side of the map. But most of the time, we'll work together. We'll have some epic bants. And it's quite quick. And it's inclusive. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, once we realized that, like, we were... Because when we first started playing, I was like, this is a hard game. This, oh, yeah. this is a hard game. That was bad. And then, then Kieran was like, you know, oh, I should probably put my other account on because we're being put up against like Olympic champions. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, I can kill people. Or I can... That's nice. You know, and it, we, we win more than we lose, I think. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit addicted. I can stop when I want to stop. It's, it's in my own hands. I think the fact that I've got some games to review is going to make me, <laughs> going to make it more of a thing. Like it's going to force me to stop a little bit. But um, it is, it's very good very addictive very well made and so, very enjoyable so the question then that i've been waiting to ask i know and you know it's coming to be fair i did yeah. tell you i was gonna ask you this is mm. that had you played this when i originally insisted that you, i felt you should yes what difference would this have made to the game of the year categories because i've been i've been told off for not fighting for it in the top 10 of the year and i didn't for a reason because like it's like i know chris white enjoyed it as well um but if i recall there was a lot of discussion about it being biggest disappointment because of the the way the game launched and lyle was very much on that side of the fence at the time because mm. he he hadn't played it you know with us as all as a gang either sort of thing and mm -hmm. he hadn't discovered yeah, roadhog I, I, and junk rat yeah because i originally played it on my own and that was a mm. terrible mistake no that's not the way that to play it never have done at all like probably I not no the best way what... to judge a best multiplayer but yeah no probably not <laughs> But um, I um yeah it was uh it basically I just didn't understand why everyone was killing me because everyone's so different. But when you've got someone like Kieran who tells you who everyone is yeah. constantly, then you suddenly know what you're doing and it's great. Yeah, I, I have really enjoyed playing it with the group. I know you're going to come on to the. I'll answer the question in you, a minute. You know what I, the question I, is, so you can yeah. just t just tell us when you're ready what you think. Yeah, I, I have really enjoyed playing it with um like I said, with with Kieran and with Steve and, and Nick and that on our Discord because it does. You learn, don't you, as you play. People give you advice mm -hmm. and you bounce off each other. And people, you know, people are giving you live advice on what to do and stuff. So it, it, that certainly has like helped, um, you know, as you as you play because you you are kind of working together. But yeah, in terms of game of the year, I'll be really clear. I'd have been fighting for this as best multiplayer. Um, <clears throat> and sorry, it, sudden itch. Where I would normally wear a tie. It's it's fine. Like I was, I was, I fought for Tiny Tina, and I stand by that. But like, I you think, given what this game <clears throat> is, and the fun I've had with it, and how well it's made as a multiplayer, I would have been fighting for this had I've had. Do you, you, know, do, you do you also see why I was so insistent? You of all people play it. That? Do you see why I was so insistent of all people? You should be the one. Yeah, to play. yeah, yeah. No, I it's, get it. It's kind of it is a competitive multiplayer game. Yeah. But the team-based stuff is kind of for me. It's like the best co-op. It's it's the quintessential co-op multiplayer. I would yeah. say like, and it's very fast-paced, which is good as well. Like, I, I like that. Mm. Um, and I think I, I think it would have crept into my top ten for there game of the year as well. I mean, it depends because something like Chained Echoes at the time when I wrote it didn't. It got an honourable mention, and I love that game now. So it's like it's difficult to know exactly yeah. where all the chips would have landed. 
but it would have been up there. And it it's <clears throat> I'll be playing a lot of it, I think. I think it it will it will definitely be my go to. A bit like how we started with I guess last year, you know, when we played like Siege. It was like the go to like game mm. when we were looking yes. for a multiplayer yes. game to play yes. together. I think this will last longer yeah. than Siege did. We dropped off Siege, didn't we? Um as as uh, pretty much after Elden Ring came out. But um um yeah, I you were right. I love it. Thank I'm you. great at it. And I'll play it some more. And it's great. I even play with Lyle. I even play with Lyle. He so the game of the year. Do you know what I mean? It's mended bridges. We're best it, friends now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's not go that far. <laughs> well. But I don't I don't try and like ruin his life on it. No. I actually try and help him. So, you know. You have to, because sometimes I have he healed Lyle. He, yeah. He has healed me. And and in turn you've healed the world. Or, or your bonds, place. your friendships, or yeah. yeah. Well, we'll probably be talking about Overwatch too a bit more as the year comes on. We're going to get to we're not we've not got let's say a lot to really delve into this week. Why? Well, why I thought it was a nice chance to have a talk about Overwatch too. But I have also played a little bit of Returnal this week, and I just wanted to give that a little shout because when I played that when it first came out and I really enjoyed it, I didn't have do you know that like the official PlayStation Five headset with all the three D audio and that. I don't think I didn't have that because I got it like later. And it hadn't occurred to me to... I mean, you could probably go back to all the games that came out before I had it, if you know what I mean, and play it. But I didn't have it, and I did try Returnal with it. And it's one of the very first games that has really wowed me in terms of, like... I mean, it already looks amazing, and the visuals and the colours, but, like, the the audio in that game is so good. Like, that game is so good. And, like, with it coming to PC, I don't know... They haven't said when, have they? But it seemed like a... A good idea to have a you know refresher of it because it is that kind of game where you could go away from it for a bit and it would be like um return to returnal yeah return to Returnal. well it's got co-op in it and and i still have well this is that, that hmm. so like i i would say now I, I think i kept quite quiet during game of the year but the year before when this was on but like hmm. i bounced off this game hard it pissed me off um i think co-op would be the thing that would and we've talked about going through it again co-op i think that would be the thing that again it's like there's some things that confuse me and things that frustrate me on it so i think that might be the thing that i need to try to see if i can experience what i think quite a lot of people have gone this is amazing when you you know yeah. you, especially when you get through a lot of it and you think god this is really great um i do wonder so I... I do wonder because there's so much about it that if you i feel like if you wanted to show off the new generation of hardware specifically the PlayStation 5, it's kind of, I think, the best game to do that because it's got unreal visuals. The audio with the 3D, you know, PlayStation official headset is just so good. So good. Like you, you it's the, I think it's the first time ever outside of, this is the key, outside of virtual reality where I've heard an enemy over there and I've turned like that because it's because it's you know on your can sort of thing it, yeah, it literally yeah, yeah, made yeah. me go like, oh there's, there's the enemy it's right there and it wasn't even it wasn't even like it's to my right it was it's up there to my right it was so right. pinpoint i was like genuinely like and i'm a, you know i know i'm a big audio guy and we've joked about how like i like to be a perfectionist and people don't even notice do you know what i mean I, we've joked about that but it was one of those was like yeah wow then you've got the haptics in that game as well which are again otherworldly good like with the raindrops fall you know falling and stuff um it's kind of like it's it's the game I and the trouble is it's just a really difficult game as well. It's a really hard game, so it's like it's the game I would want to go. This new console is PlayStation Five. Here's a controller. Here's a headset. There's a decent telly. Play this game. This will show you why this console's cool and what's cool about it. But it's so hard that I think people might walk away a bit going like, "Hmm, maybe not that way." Um, are all the games like this now? Do you know what I mean? But it is just such a phenomenally yeah. good game, and I and I have to say. Like with a little bit of space between it coming out and playing it again now, the developer obviously has made a lot of stuff for PlayStation and as Housemark. And this is like the big budget one. You know, like I said, it makes use of all these features and functionalities of the console in the way that Astro's Playroom did. Um, mm. I'd say it goes even one further, actually. I really do think it's that impressive with the, using the technology. It's really kind of brave that they went, okay, and we're going to make this balls hard game that people will bounce off and might not like as our like breakout game. I mean they've they've done lots of games that people have loved and they've always been on that 
side of it you know making sort of hard ish you know games but this is this is yeah i i i i'm torn between just wanting to play more of it waiting for the next big games to come out and get in, into those or waiting for it to come to steam and and playing it on steam i don't i wonder if it will work on steam deck because i think people would look at it go oh, it's just you know third person shooter there's no reason it shouldn't it's it's very very good visually like it is the the particle effects and stuff in this game are mm. strikingly good and i think that it would lose something if you couldn't render that on a steam deck but yeah shout out to returnal just because it's that time of year where we're waiting for the stuff to happen and um yeah i suppose we have to move on now to a bit of listen to correspondence don't we so that's what it is it's time for it's time it's time chris hi There you go, Chris. Okay, so um, starting off questions this week um, from Poo, and, and Kieran's actually in the chat. He's, he's saying that apparently I'm now the number one Overwatch fan in the Discord, which maybe, maybe. Um, and he's asking, Adam, when are you going to play as Doomfist? No, no, he's saying, when do I play as Doomfist? Because the footage showed me playing oh, Doomfist. Oh, that's not oh, me. okay, that, so that, you have already? No, that's not me playing, that's my son. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Like I, I, I would make a point of um, my son's really, really good at Overwatch, so I got him to play a lot of stuff for the footage because people don't want to watch someone being crap, um, so people want to watch something decent. So that's what I did. Fair yeah. enough. Um, and Karen just says, as much as I love Overwatch two, the launch in the first season was disappointing with all the errors and bugs. So I can see why it didn't make game of the year. Yeah, that's why I didn't play it, Karen. That, that's exactly why because mm, I knew it. that that was the case. So, hmm. Um. Uh, Okay, so um, Kieran's question is then, what game coming out this year could potentially be better than Elden Ring? Fuck it, Lyle first. Okay, well, there's already been three. That yeah, on exactly. The, the reviews on the point. site are there One now. Piece Odyssey. One Piece Odyssey. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Sailing Era and we've got... Oh, God, what's the other one called? It's got a silly name. Metal Guardian Moon Rider. Is it something like that? They're, they're all... I mean... I mean, otherwise, we're just saying like games we're really excited about. People know that, right? Like, Resident Evil Four might be better. I, I, than I love how he gets to stars. give three games, and then shit on the potential choice we're about to all have. Yeah. Like, oh, well, he, what's, he the, says what's the point games, in naming all the other I, good games? Be he says games he can't even fucking remember the name of, and then just goes, <laughs> "Oh well, I suppose we could also say Resident Evil Four Remake." Um, I suppose we could. Do, do we all sound like that to you? Because that's two different voices you've done of a combat. How I mean, do I sound have... to you? No, 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 no. <laughs> exactly, exactly my point. How um, does Chris White sound to you? Because you've done impressions of both myself and Lyle. So how does Chris sound? He just sounds sexy. Like like Aww. sort of Barry White. No, leave it. What, my uncle? Oh, shit, yeah, you're certainly <laughs> right. <laughs> Is your uncle? That'd be brilliant. Shit. Please tell me nice. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is that well, true? Don't talk about him like that. Yeah. Is that really his name? Nice well, you can't really answer bus. that. You can't really answer that. You'll get doxxed. Do you, have you actually got an Uncle Barry? No. Don't ask oh, that. I was going to ask if you call him No, I wish. I wish. Um, uh, I mean, my uncle's Thomas, but, you know, that's... <laughs> Not as exciting, actually, really. But... Actually, I don't think that works anymore. That took anymore. me far too long to get. I don't think it works anymore. Have they not gone out of business, or are they still I a have, company? But we're, uh, we're all old. It's yeah, fine. but people watching it will be like, well, why is Thomas the thing? Get, mate? I was like, Thomas White doesn't work. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. What was the question? We were we were, we were we were banned by my mother-in-law from calling my daughter Heidi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I really wish you had that. Would have been yeah, that would have been great. I like but... I like that you needed to be banned. I like that that was a I consideration yeah, at some I point. First name on the sheet. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's, it's and like, it was one of those like things where Gary like, Neville's well, dad, isn't it? All over again. This. Mm. Well, now you've forbidden it. I'm considering yeah. it. You know I mean? It was like off the table, and it's like, well, now, now you're saying I can't. Yeah, but that, that like, would have been like me potentially calling one of my kids Tom or Thomas. It would, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think yours would be worse. Yeah. I think no, calling definitely. someone Heidi when their surname's Heidi. <laughs> yeah. You could have been um, worse. You could have called her Jekyll. Yeah. My answer is Tears yeah. of the Kingdom. Yeah, mine's also Tears of the Kingdom. So. My answer is Tears of the Kingdom. No, it's not. <laughs> There won't, there won't be a game better than Elden Ring this year. Oh, mate. I'm sorry. They're all going to be worse than One Piece. 
<laughs> I'm not. We talked about Zelda, didn't we? I don't want to go into it anymore. I can't remember. No, that was that's last fine. Year. But like, you don't think don't even think... the games you're most looking forward to could be better than it? I honestly, don't. Well, uh, to be honest, I can't tell you what I'm looking forward to the most. It's not, one of those years where there's way, no, no. Just, there's, just there's just so much. There's like, so the next much. Game I'm, I'm looking forward to. It's Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> I bad him. Um, hey. But Why is he telling me to shut up? I didn't say nothing. Stop talking over him! He... <laughs> Go on, Chris. Scr no, whatever. <laughs> he told me to shut up when I wasn't speaking and I got all confused. I don't, he's, he's trying to confuse you. You're getting old. He's doing it on purpose. He's trying to push you over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be need to be that hard of See, a push, well, really. I've, I've gone over the edge before I met him. No, no, it Chris, is. It, it, it's talking, one of... I want. I want to hear. No, to like I, I just can't think of what else is coming out other than Resi, which I know will be all right, but it won't be better than Elden Ring. But that's on a personal level with me in Elden Ring. All right, I love. I just it was incredible, and Zelda I've, won't be it. I've got one. Go on then. So if I, I just need to compose myself to make sure I can say it with a straight face. Redfall. Oh. <laughs> if that look, listen, right? No, no. Let me... Redfall is good. <clears throat> Even if Redfall, no. I have been thinking about that game recently a lot because, and now Microsoft have announced they're doing a showcase and that. Developer pedigree, okay, plus vampires. And plus the fact there's an interview, I believe, on Games Radar where they say that it's actually not this multiplayer game people think it is. If we were going to compare it to anything, it would be more like a Far Cry game. So take that, add Vampires, add Arcane Studios. We we know from the the, 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 the CGI trailers and shit that it's going to be kind of a Dishonored style. You know the you know the, you know the weird powers that you have in that, or yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Um, um, Deathloop. You know, there's another one. I, I get, I've got this weird th hang up about this game in that everyone seems to have just written it off without remembering that they made Dishonored, Dishonored Two, and and fucking Deathloop, three games that have like always been contentious for like game of the year discussions. You know, like the Clockwork Mansion, Dishonored Two, and stuff. Best level of design ever, people call it. And and I, I don't understand. I would say I would say for me, it's more that it's Microsoft at this point in time. That's not a slight on Microsoft. It's just the fact that every single event they've had is we've we've got this coming out. We've got this coming out. We've got this coming out. I th I and think they've taken that. Out. But I think I think they've learned, and the reason I say that is because everyone apart from Microsoft now, when they come out with an event, like Nintendo started this, Sony have started doing this, they'll say things like, right, um, Nintendo will tell them, hey, we're going to have um, a Nintendo Direct. Just to be clear, the sequel to The Breath of the Wild 2 will not be part of this presentation. Um, Sony have done it with like PSVR, like we're going to talk about whatever this is or whatever, but just to be clear, we will not be talking about this. We, and, and Microsoft have now done that. They have said, we're going to do a show that is all about celebrating the developers. These are the four games that you will find out about. And just to be clear, we are going to do a separate thing for Starfield because the game is such a big deal. We want a whole presentation to itself. So I feel like they have now caught up with that, that marketing style. Yeah. Because everyone's got to adjust at their own speed and that. And, and gen genuinely... I'm really torn to, between whether Microsoft are being too hands off and saying, "Look, the game's ready when it's ready," or or, or what's going on. But red, like I say, Arcane Studios, man. Also, like I, I don't know. I just have this feeling it's going to be really. Why? Why? Let me, let me swap it around. Why wouldn't it be good? You know, if people are allowed I to think, go, I "Oh, it's it... Platinum Games. It's going to be great." No, for I example, think it's why more... can't? Why, surely, fucking Arcane, who are like three for three, aren't they? Four for I think, four, even. Yeah, I think it's more like the fact that it's like, where the fuck's that gone? Kind of thing. I think. But is that a bad worry. thing? Though? But is that a bad thing either? No, I just think you. you well, you get doubts. It's like, well, why are they not showing us anything? So, are they saying it's like Far Cry in the sense that it's you can play it on your own? Yes. Oh, it's a hundred percent a single player game with multiplayer oh, options. Fuck's sake. Really? Yeah. Which, no, is, which this, is a I massive was, shift from where they was, first oh, announced it. To oh, me. I yeah, totally yeah. agree. The way the way it was announced, it looked as if they were positioning it as a kind of like a like a four v one, like a like a oh, what's mm. that? A Dead by Daylight almost. Hundred yeah, percent agree. Hundred percent. Right, no, right. no, no, no. It's it's got co-op right. multiplayer. That'll but... be Elden Ring then. That'll but... be <laughs> my up one to we be Elden Ring. Uh, well done, the... Microsoft. But I will say, even if it was a purely multiplayer game, I think I would be quite interested to see 
what Arcane would do because the thing, whether you love Dishonored, whether you love Deathloop or not, you can't argue that they are not a developer doing really cool shit. Whether you gel with it or not is, is irrelevant, mm. but like I, yeah, they're a developer so. that like how people get excited about Platinum. For me, I'm like, I'm here to see what you've got to show, because look, if it's shit, it's shit. Um, but I, I just, I, I don't, I don't think it'd be better than Elden Ring, but it might. And it's not, it's not, it's not Tears of the Kingdom or Resi 4, so there you go. Or One Piece Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice new pick. Okay, question two. <laughs> Sorry, that was just the first question, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh which Overwatch heroes are you all going to main next? Sigma or Ramatra. There you go. I hate Sigma's big rocks. Why would you do that to other people? Because I get why they play him as him now. <laughs> oh, well, well, after yeah, playing I mean, as him, I'm like, oh I get this. I get this entirely now. Well, I'm you, Lyle. Yeah, oh sorry, Chris. Cool. I I'm I'm gonna once once I've unlocked her, I'm gonna give Kiriko a good good I was gonna say good scene. <laughs> 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 Jesus. I'm gonna give her a, a good you know, bash. I want. I, yep. I think that, that's, that's no better. That's when no I've better. Done her in the practice. Done her in the practice range. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Just stop. Just stop. You said Kiriko. Yeah, that's it. Someone else say something. Compose okay. yourself. Um, I can't remember who it was. He was the fun jetpack that you got Farrah. to play as. Farrah, Farrah, Farrah yeah. yeah. I thought that seemed quite Fucking fun. Fucking eight playing against her. Yeah, you, um, you would as a as a support. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I mean, I seem to be best with the characters that don't necessarily require aim as the number one like priority. Like, you know, I play as junk rat because I have explosives that I can just fire down a hallway and eventually it'll be all right. Um, and if I'm maybe focusing on flying around, I can probably do that. I'm better at platforming than I am shooting. So I'm going to give it a go. I just always forget to look up. Yeah, look exactly. Bad. And I do the same thing. So, but to be honest, as a Moira. There's not an awful lot you can do if there's a no, not unless I can you. find some stairs. And yeah. That, yeah, I'm done really. Chris, Chris White, have you got anything? You um, I've, I've, I haven't. I never played as Roadhog before, but I have literally started playing as Roadhog, so I've spent a bit more time with him. Uh, a bit of Winston, fancy a bit of Winston, and uh, and Lucio, I think, as a support. Oh, I do. Yeah, I like the a, ring. Yeah, I love the ring I love, action. I love Lucio's ring. We all do. That's what she oh, yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful. Exactly. Oh, I have, couldn't I, have been better. I have never seen a father <laughs> owned by his child in, in <laughs> that was and he's trying you can see he's trying Not to compose himself owned. because it's like what do you do? Support yeah. banter. To be honest, with her, if if I was him, I'd be not only proud of her for what she said, but I'd be proud of her for the fact she's actually listening to what he's got to say. Yeah, she's listening to him. She's listening to him speak. Makes change. Yeah. Mm. What's the next question, Chris? Yeah. Um. So, uh, Super Nintendo <laughs> Charmers, which is Steve, says, "Happy New Year, you beautiful lot. Hope you had an awesome break. You have one opportunity to take a sneaky peek at a game currently in development. What game are you casting your BDI over? <laughs> development warts and all. Personally, I'd like to see how Playground are getting on with Fable. <sighs> I know what my answer is." It's Tears of the Kingdom for you, isn't it? No. No? No, because that's out soon. I suppose it... Don't say that. That'll get me all... That can't be true. What would it be, then? Mine's Metroid Prime 4. Oh, of course. That's Sorry. a good one. Sorry. Because, yeah. like, I'd be like, what the fuck is this <laughs> no, I'm, game? I'm, I'm, Show I'm, me I'm, it now. I was thinking of games like... You know how we do it game of the year where it's like it's got to have a release date? I was in that sort yeah, of... Yeah, I was, no, yeah, I was, no, no of like, course. Like, I want Shit, to yeah. Metroid it's like... Of course. Elder Scrolls Six. Yes. Oh, Great show. One. I want to see yeah. oh, if there's oh, actually anything trouble. happening, or they're not just working <laughs> on the <laughs> next. Can you imagine if you just get the same like <laughs> logo screen that we got like two years ago? Okay, yeah. great. Cheers, lads. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mine. Um. Mine. I am much less confident in the final game than everyone else, but just for the pure drama, I'm saying Skull and Bones right now. Why not? These are three absolute belters. Yeah, I have to put my hand up and say, lads, that you have. N I I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, I, I don't think I could come close to. It. I wouldn't mind knowing what the hell State of Decay three is, if I'm honest oh, with you. Yeah, because yeah. like you know, the first, the second one was kind of more of the first one, but bigger. Mm. And if I recall, and do correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. 
I want to say that, that they originally envisioned, envisioned making like an MMORPG. Oh, and God. and I wonder, Remember, I wonder yeah, with Microsoft's clout if they could, if that's what they because like, why would you just make another? I mean, what could you add to it without going bigger again? And it's already pretty big. No, mm. do you know what? Beyond Good and Evil Two. Ooh. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I was just. You know what that? It just like. I was gonna say that when you were like, I can't think of what. I was because like, part what of me is like, I just would love them to like E3 time or something say yeah, and it's out in November. But like, I'm worried. I just, I would want to have a sneak peek just to, just to, just to be able to go like, lads, I've been had a look, it'll be alright. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. fine. They're just taking, you know what I mean? Because that is like, yeah. I, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't mind knowing what's going on at the gears of, of the coalition with gears of war and like I would mm. imagine there must be another one of them somewhere. You would think so. <laughs> the the real answer to this, by the way, is Halo Infinite, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Currently in development. Um, that, yeah. Uh, Kieran says um, Everwild because I don't think anyone knows what the fuck that is. Yeah, I that thought was, about saying was, that. Was that Ubisoft or not That's, Ubisoft? It was. Is that not Rare or is that something else? Oh, is that the. Uh, yeah, now I'm thinking of the other game that I think actually it's might Everwild be. Is Everwild the pretty looking one? I think so, yeah. Well, it was all it CGI, wasn't bit, it? Yeah, it's like. like yeah. That's the, that's the like, what foresty a, looking um, one that looks mm-hmm. really beautiful. That what, one. What's that yeah, Obsidian yeah. game? Um. Avowed, uh, avowed. Yeah. Microsoft announced a lot too early, didn't they? Because like they thought, <laughs> yeah, when you actually yeah. when you actually start listing them off, you're like, oh, yeah, I want to play yeah, all yeah. of these. Because you could have said Hellblade, couldn't you? Well, I d- I, yeah, <laughs> kinda, yeah. Hmm. Any any more for any more? No, not for me. The new Leisure really Suit Larry. <laughs> hmm. Fingers crossed, 2023. <laughs> I do think Skull and Bones is a really interesting choice. Given what they've just announced as well. Yeah, timely. <laughs> mm. What? Like, what's it's been, been delayed around? again, hasn't it? It's been sort of delayed three, <laughs> three big ones. Yeah. Is it not like, I think the new release date is early 2023 to 2024. Yeah, I oh, think it's like n- next fiscal year, so any time after April, isn't it? Really? But like, yeah. hang on, was that not announced like when Dan Murphy was working with us? Oh, I mean, it was announced. I'm yeah, fair. probably, yeah. Yeah, so I would say about so. Thinking I, like, I was looking forward to it, and that's yeah, I think so. Yeah. Years ago, it's been it's been been some time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Steve also says, also, which bands are you looking forward to releasing new music this year? Any top tips on who to listen out for? Love you, bye. I'm out on this question. I don't even know what music is anymore. Well, no, me neither. Hundred Reasons have got a new album out. Oh, um, yes. Next month. It's February or March, I can't remember now. Um, and they're a band I never thought I'd hear from again because, uh, if I recall, was it the drum? One of them had like a brain aneurysm or something, and I think, and yeah, then they basically just stopped because it was and like Colin, the yeah. lead singer, became a teacher. That's right. Um, they, they, it was, it was the, yeah, it was Colin and it was the guitarist, and they were basically going around now and again doing like just acoustic shows. They're a really mm. loud rock band, by the way, for people who aren't aware, and they were doing like these just. They weren't like doing them differently. They were just playing them on acoustic guitars and doing random, weird little mini festival slots. And then to see them back is like a treat because they are a really good band. And he's a superb oh. singer. And they got oh, some really catchy yeah. riffs as well. Um, so them, I think I see there's there's four tracks available now. One was, new one was released last week. And I think, I think this year has to be something new from Ben Folds because it's been forever. And like he's quite active in like just a general discord of life so to speak but he, he like I, f- I feel like it's been forever since we had some new ben folds um i'm quite keen to see what the new paramore album's like because that new track they've got out is really catchy very different but really good and there's a new smashing pumpkins album out yeah i haven't listened to that yet i keep meaning to yeah which i can't fancy yeah and, and i suppose another one for me a bit of an obvious one is no gallagher's got an album out at some point this year presumably and as a long time Oasis fan, I'll be yeah, there. Cardi, Cardi B. Not really my. Um, Camilla Cabello. Um, You're just saying words now. I'm being hip. Yeah, yeah. Tame what, in what are kids listening to? <laughs> I'll look at my phone to see what people are. KSI. K- oh. I like it. I like actually like KSI. That's not even a joke. <laughs> well, you asked me what the kids like, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. What, what, hang on. Will Blink-182 have an album this year? Yes. Yes. Because they've got that single edge in that's really, really good. Why are they releasing another one? Release another single. Come on. I, I mean, I'm sure they will. I mean, I know they're touring, so they'll probably have something to promote. But yeah, there you go. There's, there's plenty to be it getting. sounds like there. the year of, like... like... Resurgences. Yeah, you're know, talking about bands. I'm like, I actually know, I actually know these bands, and I've heard of them, and I like them. I yeah, but I think should... I think music has a bigger discoverability problem than even games do, because with Spotify, Apple Music, and Deezer, and everything else, like I don't know how you find, like, you know, I, I, I this is properly old man, but I remember. Do you remember NWA Straight Outta Compton? Does that mean anything? So I yeah. found a tape walking home from school on the floor down an alleyway, and I was like, "Ooh, this is going to be like the history. What could this be? Some sort of secret?" And it was NWA Straight Outta Compton, and it was like, wow. "This is life changing. What is this? Is this mm. how is this allowed?" And it was so good. Like, how would you find that now? It was the same with Guns N' Roses. Like a a mate literally went to, we had uh, Mr. Brownstone, the song, and he literally goes, listen to this. I put his tape deck headphones on. I was like, this, and I'm looking around thinking, I'm going to be arrested. You can't, you can't swear like this in a song and be all raucous and loud. And it changed my world. Like, I I just don't know how, I don't know how you find stuff like that. I know like Jimmy Eat World were talking about this recently, about how they might become a singles band. Because singles do better because you get this moment in time where there's this big, oh, look, we've released a new single. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, great. Get some play, get some play. And then like three months later, another single. And it's like a lot of the fan base was like, yeah, but we really like when we get a new album from you every few years. And we sit down and listen to the album as it's conceived. And so they sort of, they, I think they backed down a bit on it. And we're like, we're going to have a think about this. But I, I, I hope that sort of thing. I, I like that idea of sitting down with an album, mm. you know. And anyway, that wasn't the question, but there you go. Okay, doke. Um, Mick sent through um, questions for all of us. So I'll start with you, Adam. Mm-hmm. Um, Favourite retro game collection right now? Um, I like the Evercade. Oh, Which... yeah, you've got, you've got one, haven't you? Yeah, I like this thing on, yeah. on video. I, I really, really like the Evercade. I think it's a fantastic device. Um, I'm not, I'm, you know, they're not cheap. But it is a—it's a, just a really cool thing, and I like the idea of getting cartridges with bunches of games on them and like Capcom collections and that. And I think it's a really neat way of doing it. But I, I guess the Evercade, yeah, for me. I don't think that's what he means. I think he means like a collection of games, perhaps. But that's the answer. No, that's the answer. Fuck him. Um, Shredder's Revenge, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is out on Netflix for mobile. Have you tried it? I booted it up to see that it worked and how you log in via Netflix and that's it. I haven't played it because I've played it to death. So um, yeah, I, But basically, I... it knows you've got Netflix on your phone. So it, it will say, like, who is this? You know, you know, Adam Kids, blah, 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 whatever your yeah. account is called. Um, that's as far as I got. So sort of is the answer to that, I guess. I, I booted it up, I suppose. So technically, I've, I've tried it. Okay, thoughts on pocket card jockey coming through apple arcade i'd like to try it because it's it's game freak <laughs> but the thing when I, I remember looking at the news story for this and um uh, like seeing the screenshots and going how come this looks better than pokemon does <laughs> like you can't be serious like why has this got a better art looking art stuff so i kind of you know i'll try it. i don't know much about the pocket card jockey stuff to be honest with it's you. really good yeah. it's just no like, i've heard it- that yeah. yeah, but I really don't know. Weird, interesting, solitaire game. Yeah, <laughs> well, that, that, that's the thing. Seeing that, and knowing it's that, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm in. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, any 3DS game you wish you could play on Switch right now that you missed playing before? Osutaku Uendan. Elite Sorry. Be- oh yeah. Elite Beat Agents. Um, Did you say called- before that? Osu Osutaku Uendan. It's right, Japanese. Question. I'm pronouncing it probably badly or wrong, but it was a, it was it was the game I imported, probably last game I imported. It was a 3DS game, and it was basically a dance game where you would touch the screen and move the with the stylus to the rhythm of you know a bit like yeah, theatre yeah. rhythm is now, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, but it was just it was absolutely a phenomenal game, and I would not be against playing that on Switch. Yeah, that'd be you great. Don't? Um, given a choice, would you? Oh, this is a good question. Given a choice, would you take Advance Wars One and Two Reboot Camp right now if it meant pushing Redfall and Spider Man Two to twenty twenty four? No. I, I feel I, I no not even no oh, that God seems no quite easy. I thought it was an easy question. I feel like it's not supposed to be, but that is 
Absolutely not. Like Advance Wars not, one and two no. is, is a remake, and also like Fire Emblem Engage is out this month, mm. and that is a tactics game like Advance Wars. And obviously, if you follow the site and seen the video preview and the write up of Engage, you'll know that I have been playing that game. So I don't need. I'm not like desperately like. Oh, I need more tactics, more tactics. And and if I was, I could go play Tactics Ogre. Uh, I forgot the name of the game. What was it? Tactics Ogre Reborn? Reborn, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or finish Deerfield, which isn't a tactics game, but it's adjacent. No, absolutely not. You t- no, Redfall and Spider Man Two. I, I would bite your hand. Off. If, I'd, I'd, re- I'd do the opposite. I'd say if you give me Redfall and Spider Man Two now, I'll let you put Advance Wars One and Two reboot out in twenty twenty six because we're going on basically. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, that's my question. I'm done. Okay, no. <laughs> Chris, your questions are next. Uh, what do you want from NBA 2K24 and WWE 2K23? In an ideal world, I want them to completely rework how virtual currency works online because every year, I hate, I hate banging the same drum. Mm, I remember you saying this before. Yeah. But the progression system is broken. Like you, you, you could literally play for 20 hours, and if you haven't got the right teammates playing alongside you you'll never make enough money for a fucking sweatshirt with like nike on it it's it's like on the on the my team stuff so all like the card based game side of it like the ultimate team it's fine like you can you can buy those cards or you can they do a lot of free freebies and you can sell your own cards and stuff so that system's quite well but like when it comes to like the city and playing online i just never i just i don't have enough time to spend that um, so I would say that, but that's not going to happen. Um, I, re- um, I remember reading your review of it uh, la- mm. last year, and I mm. could, I could literally feel the sadness of almost like I have to write this again. Yeah, yeah, you do. And I like uh, such and, a and you're good right too, game. Obviously. Yeah, such a good game, like gameplay wise. But but I now, I'd just, yeah, I'd never play play online. Um, and then WWE, I would say. Last year's when, when did it come out? Yeah, <laughs> last year, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I would say was... that was a good start to the mm. future. And then Lyle will know with the company itself, it took a change <laughs> for the better. But mm. now, some other he, he stuff sold it to happened. The Russians, hasn't he? Oh. Well, I've literally before coming on, there was something about Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. What? There was the, the Saudi, Saudi Arabians. Okay. Disney Plus, so I don't know what's going on, but that's not my well, ESPN. That is, isn't it? Well, I think yeah, I mean, that I is an issue. I don't know if it's story or if it's real. Does no, that make... it's, unfortunately, it's real. He really is. So, so Vince, Vince McMahon really is the owner, really, in real life, really. Vince stepped down because of allegations made against him. So then his son in law and daughter kind of helped to take the reins of creative. And that's and Stephanie Payton, McMahon and Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. And and that, and this, again, this is in real life. We're talking. They are about. married with kids and stuff. Oh, okay. And I didn't. All I... really happened. Okay. Okay. Um, and then it started to get better, much better. Right. And they've brought people back who Vince fired for reasons unbeknown to anyone other than himself. And it became a, it became a strong company again for most long term fans. Mm-hmm. And then Vince is back on the board of directors, and it's because he was mixed with yeah. Trump and stuff, wasn't he? Like he was yeah, proper in that gang of really, shitbags. I mean, he's a, he's. For that time, like he's he's been amazing. So, like so there's been times where he's done some great things, but it's like he's getting old and it feels like he's just lost his mind. Like Trump. And it needs someone yeah, it needs someone like Triple H and Stephanie to but then Stephanie's resigned. She's left now as co CEO, so it's in a bit of a bad way. But in terms of the game, <laughs> yeah. I would say build upon last year's change I, I want a mode which is reminiscent of the very first kind of like WrestleMania 2000 was wicked when it came to that story mode mm-hmm. where you could, you, you would, you would be like, there'd be a cut scene in the ring and like somewhat your tag team partner would just turn around and like twat you. And it's completely unexpected. And like, it was really good because like, that's kind of what happens when you watch wrestling. Sometimes it just, just happens out of nowhere. And there was, no, there's no, never any surprises. So I'd say that building the story will be better. And, and taking away the freedom. I don't like that much freedom in universe mode to spend my time creating every match, every every wrestler, every every event. I just want a bit more structure and story for me to just jump into. So 
But uh, it, it was good. It was good. And I would say just build on that and we'll see where we go. But now the company's fucked in real life. I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> are you looking forward to the... I'm scared to ask. Are you looking forward to the AEW game? Absolutely. It's going to be silly and beautiful and wonderful. And yes, I am. Very much okay. so. Carrying on with that positivity. Given unlimited budget, what publisher would you buy to make a game that you want? I would I would repurchase, or I don't know what ever happened to it, or if it got like swallowed up by another company, but Ocean, who made banging Mega Drive games <laughs> in the 90s, <laughs> and I would I would get a, a, a remake from the ground up of James Pond 2 Robocop. <laughs> And I'm promise yes. you, I'm not even joking. Uh, that game so, is incredible. And I loved like a 2.5D version of that. I was going to say, would you, would you go like full 3D? Like I don't think I would. Open world. <laughs> like, I, I kind of love the visuals of like um, Indivisible and like Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. So I'd have mm. it like looking, looking that swish. Or the Night Witch, that game I reviewed last year. Like that kind of, those kind of visuals, like really clean polished cartoony yeah visuals but james pond like what happened to him everyone goes on about gecko gex the gecko and all that nothing on james pond nothing on james no it's a fair fair comment yeah so yeah james pond god bless him god bless him (laughs) do you want do you want your questions chris yes well it's it's weird he's he's not called you chris no he's called me chief because i'm now chief wiggum Thanks okay. to last week's question about donuts and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite Simpsons song, and why is it the monorail song? So I had to look. I had to look some up, right? Because it's been mm. a long time since I watched Simpsons. The monorail one, I know what that is. So that, it's a great song. It is a bang. Um But I did look a few up to remind myself from like the early years. Mm. I like um, well the Canyonero one's pretty good. We talked about that before. Canyonero is good. Um, I like who needs the quickie mark. Oh, that's a these, good one. These yeah. floors are sticky, Mark. Let's throw a brookie, Mark. That's all I can remember. I can't remember any of the main. The things. quickie, Mark, is real. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's that bit right at the end. He's like, don't. <laughs> that's right. That's um, those, yeah, those, those will do for now. There's probably ones I'm missing. You don't about the, the, the Blessed House. The what? Oh, sorry, the, the Blessed House one. Oh, the Spring in Springfield one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Man. And at the end, when those lads just go. We just heard this place existed. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good one. That's good. I, th- I think this next question is quite an easy one. Uh, are you going to try Monster Hunter Rise on PlayStation 5 or Xbox? I can't. I can't start again. Like, I, I, no. It's and you'll see why when Overwatch. I answer the next question. <laughs> I just can't. I can't reset. If, if saves carried over, then yeah, I would. Because I'd be well up for seeing that, uh, playing that on the PlayStation. But... I can't start again in that game. No. I've, I I do feel there's bordering on an obligation at this point where if you're going to release a game 6 to 12 months later and it's that kind of live game, yeah. you need to allow for some sort of... I played the on third Switch, time as well. then I played on PC, and now I'm yeah. going to play on PlayStation. Like, not being funny, if Destiny 2 can do it, I feel like Capcom should be able to, but like, yeah, so, like, no, whatever, I do agree. Um, but related, I probably will get this wrong. He says, "Did you finish doing Chaotic Gore Magala in Sunbreak?" Did I fuck? No, I haven't had the chance to even get through Sunbreak with Steve, right? And now I'm playing Overwatch too, so that ain't ever going to happen. So no, I haven't. Um, we've done, we've done a few. Steve's done more than me, but we've done. A, f- a fair few hunts in it, but I- I'm guessing this is like the end double R bastard one. Oh, okay. No, I haven't because I don't have time. Um, and I definitely will never see it on PlayStation. <laughs> so, yeah, not a uh, chance. The last question for you is Will 2023 see a new listener correspondence song added? Well, I mean, it's not up to me. I mean, when we were talking about it, when it for, obviously, when it happened for, um, was it for 500? 500, yeah. 500. We joked about either doing it for 600 or for 1,000, both of which will not land in 2023. So I don't think there will be. But never say never, because you'd sometimes have to, you'd have to either sing people, it. people you'd have creative juices flowing or people get bored. Well, no, but you'd have sometimes... to sing it because you've given us the one tune. So we'd need yeah. a... 
we need a different tune to. So you need me? What you're saying is you need me to release an album? Well, just to sing Crystal Eyes Listener Correspondence in a different way, like rapping it, like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I don't think you should do that. Is what I, I think say. you should do that definitely. <laughs> and I also definitely do want the full album, not just singles. We've talked about this. Yeah. So. Maybe it is in my hands. I thought it was out of my hands. I thought it was more like. Well, you we and need Steve. something to work with. Like we need to have a tune, and you've, we've done the tune. You've done three. You Steve did three different versions of the tune you originally created. So we need. To... Oh, so oh no, yeah. To be fair, the question is: Is there going to be a different song? Yeah. Not a different sort of remix. Yeah. Oh God, this puts a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> what? Know, maybe we just to beat his Chris sides, listen to car respond to beat that. That takes a little bit. Of... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the thing, yeah, this is true. It, it, I, I, it work in the studio a lot for the first, the first song. I just saying, so, I feel like the only ways up is, is what I'm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it just yeah, feels like there's yeah. not. Yeah. yeah, the dreaded second single. Hmm. There you go. That's back to you then for, yes, for Lyle's right, questions. Sorry, I'm just bl- flabbergasted. You're thinking, you're thinking now, Lyle. <laughs> we both know February has a ton of games that look interesting. What do you want to play in March? We both know February looks great. Let's not talk about exactly. February. Here's a random fact. Now I'll ask a question about something completely <laughs> now different. Now March. Um, March is Resident Evil 4, right? So so that's like so it's that. easy number one. Yeah. I mean, I'm also looking forward to uh, Legend of Heroes Trails into Azure. Is, it, is that the... Are they the words? I think so. Um, but the next... Um, Trails game from I've never the played arc. Trails game. I feel like I should. I think you'd really, really like mm. him, yeah. But I, I hadn't. I think I played one way back in the day on the PSP. But like this last year, um, they basically brought like there was an arc that was basically missing from the West because they have it in like loads of different sort of series. I guess it's it's really complex because I think basically when they made the games, they wanted them to be kind of like this huge like uh like almost like the marvel like universe of like all these things are connected so it's incredibly hard to start but they started this new this branch of it that had never come west that released last year and then this is the next one and i really liked it so i want to play the next one of them but not as much as i want to play resident evil 4 because i really really want to play resident evil 4 i love that game better than elden ring so yeah we've we've already discussed it is we know Uh, it okay favorite game freak non-pokemon game okay well i mean i think he is expecting me to say pocket card jockey because we were already discussing that mm. um but i'm gonna say drill dozer i really liked drill dozer on the game boy advance it was a little platformer where you had a drill and you drilled through things not a fan of tembo the badass presumably. elephant i never played tembo the badass oh, elephant okay which but i always looked good but no i, I liked drill dozer i thought that was a cool game okay next question least favorite thing about switch and steam deck when you play a game on them it's, this is a very specific thing. I mean, for Switch, I could have just said, like, Drift. I'm not having to deal with Drift anymore right now. So that is that is nice. But as a general rule, that was always disappointing. And then, you know, outside of that, I guess, a lot of games I end up, you know, playing for review on Switch. Like, a lot of the time, there will be technical or performance issues because it's a bit of an underpowered console, in case you haven't heard. Um so there can be issues in that regard, but like in terms of like actually playing them, I really like playing handheld. Like I never, I very rarely miss playing on a big screen if I'm playing, especially a game on the Steam Deck. I don't really have anything bad to say about the Steam Deck. I, 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 I would like to play pretty much all my games on it. Thanks. If that, if that could happen, that'd be great. I just love playing things portably. I always have. It's easier and nicer. Okay, and last question is. It's an obvious one, but we'll do it anyway. Mm-hmm. If you had to pick one game you never want to see again, would it be Power Wash, Breath of the Wild, or No More Heroes 3? It's easily and without question Power Wash Simulator. I've talked many times about how Power Wash is Power Wash Simulator is the least fun I've ever had playing a video game. I hate it. I detest it with every fiber of my being, which is all the more unfortunate because at some point I am going to have to play it again. <laughs> But we'll we'll leave that there for now. Unfortunately, that carrot dangling. Yeah, that's the end. Okay, do you want me to play the jingle? Yeah, play the bloody song. Three, four, three.
Pod. Listen to Correspondence. It's time. It's time. Chris Hyde. And that's the end, basically, of episode 508. Thanks to Chris for the listener correspondence. Thanks for the people who sent in the listener correspondence. Thanks to Chris and Chris and Lyle for being here on this week's episode. Uh, I thought we did all right, given that, like, nothing we could talk about, really. I thought we did pretty well. Um, we are pros at talking about nothing. Yeah. And thanks to you know Chris for bringing his sartorial elegance. Thanks for Lyle for bringing his sartorial elegance. And... Uh, Thanks for everyone for watching and uh, listening. And right there, and thanks for for Chris White, I'd say. But no, 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 he knows. It's not going to work. He knows. Um, I'm just jealous because of your hair, mate. That's you know, forever. I remember hair. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Go to Patreon.com/slash/GodIsAGeek. Go to uh, YouTube.com/slash/GodIsAGeek if you're just listening to the audio version and see the sartorial elegance that I am describing. I'm really impressed that I managed to say that so many times properly. That's it for this week. We will speak to you next week or whenever you choose to listen.